Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. New new hat. Well, not new, actually, although uh, new to you. Uh, makes me look a bit like a gnome, don't you think? And a new T-shirt. Not new, but again, new to you. Some people have commented on the uh, state of my sartorial inelegance and suggested, suggested that perhaps it was time for a change. Well, when you live in your garage, uh, clean clothes or uh, new clothes or even different clothes when your wardrobe has been locked and bolted against you uh, can be quite difficult. But I managed to find uh, this one. In fact, I got a clothes parcel from uh, some distant relatives uh, who took pity on me and they included this rather nice uh, t-shirt and this rather nice hat that makes me look a little bit like a gnome. Well, what are we doing today? I thought we'd do uh, some essential skills for cyclists because particularly during lockdown it's a good idea to learn new skills. Uh, lots of people apparently have been on Zoom, uh, they've learned to speak Russian, uh, they've learned to play the harpsichord, uh, some people have stripped and rebuilt motorcyclists, uh, motorcyclists? Uh, motorcycles uh, and one man apparently constructed a scale model of the Great Wall of China. Yes, 50% um, 50% uh, of life size in his garden. He had quite a big garden and uh, apparently uh, you can see it not from space uh, but as you can see the Great Wall of China so I'm told from space and it's the only thing you can see from space. But you can see uh, this Mayan's 50% uh, life-size version of the Great Wall of China uh, from somewhere near uh, the edge of space if you're up high enough. So essential skills for cyclists number one how to make a cleaning rag. Now it's very important that you keep your bicycles clean and well scrubbed and polished. You may have seen one of my videos about how to clean a gravel bike. This is not a gravel bike cloth. There'll be a separate video about a gravel bike cloth. This cloth would be suitable for a, a road bike, uh, perhaps a commuter, perhaps a hybrid, not an e-bike, so not a gravel bike and not an e-bike, but most other bikes it would be suitable for. You're going to, use, you're going to need uh, two things in order to uh, manufacture or construct this cleaning cloth. Uh, you're going to need uh, something as the as what we call the base layer. This is the the uh, uh, central fabric that you will use for your cloth, and then you will use uh, then you will need these, which are called a pair of scissors. Now these have a a kind of red knob on the front. There, you don't need a red knob, and you don't need a red knob on your scissors. Any pair of scissors will do. Uh, although I suggest. I uh, suggest not nail scissors because that could uh, uh, take rather a long time to make the cleaning cloth. We are using, or rather I am using, the Vulpine Merino Wool Grey T-shirt that you have seen in the vast majority of my videos and some people have suggested should be for the scrap heap. So I've decided I'm going to use it as the base for my cleaning cloth. So I'm taking my Vulpine, you don't have to use a Vulpine Merino wool t-shirt. Uh, you could use uh, a pair of Merino wool underpants. Uh, you could use cotton underpants. Uh, you could use latex num underpants, but this is not that sort of video, Nigel, I'm afraid. If you want that kind of thing, you're going to have to go elsewhere. I'm sure you've looked for it on YouTube, but you won't find it on my channel. I don't do... Well, I do do the latex, actually, but only when I'm wearing the latex gloves for certain cleaning tasks. Not... I hasten to add for this particular task. And um, another word for uh, a cleaning cloth is a rag or a cleaning rag. And where that came about was, uh, you may remember Ragtime. Uh, Ragtime was a novel by uh, E.L. Doctorow and a very good novel, by the way. Ragtime was also a form of uh, kind of jazzy music popular in the earlier part of the 20th century. In other words, around about 1910, uh, mostly in New York, but not just in America. It did spread beyond uh, other areas. And what they used to do was that the, the, jazz pian the jazz players would be up on the stage and they'd be doing their tinkly tink, you know, that boring jazz music style that they do. 
And then the audience, of course, who got indescribably bored as this jazz music continued to play interminably, decided that one way of alleviating that boredom would be to make uh, cleaning cloths or rags and rag time as it became known, uh, was the time that you spent making a cleaning rag while listening to that dreadful jazz music. You can still do it now if you want to listen to uh, somebody like Miles Davis or uh, Wynton Marsalis or uh, who's that fellow? Is it Jamie Cullum who plays that dreadful boring jazz music? Anyway, you choose the music that you want as your backdrop. Don't be influenced by my increasingly uncatholic musical tastes. Um, I did do a poll on my channel to say, would you like me to add music to my videos? Because most YouTube videos have music, even though mine doesn't. And one person suggested, uh, yes, Black Sabbath, ACDC or Genesis. I, I like your sense of humour there, Nigel. I like your sense of humour. Uh, if you can call that music if you want, but you won't hear it on my channel. So, where are we up to? We've got the rag, or the merino wool t-shirt in this case. We've got the pair of scissors, and what we do is we we basically we commence to cut it up. Now, I mean, cut up a little bit. This is the exciting bit. You go like that. Right now, if you have uh, elderly grandparents uh, or aunts, uncles uh, who are um, perhaps uh, short of hobbies, then why don't you involve them in this particular task? If you have children that you should have sent to school but you've decided not to, why don't you involve them in this task? And they could pull one side of the t-shirt, you could pull the other side of the t-shirt, and you have that satisfying sound there as it, whoa, look, you see, and here we got to the the, the, the neck, and now well, we're going to have to do a bit more, a bit more cutting. So we just cut that, we sort of cut cut the sinews of the shirt. I mean, imagine it's a, it's a, ooh, ooh, this is getting a little tough. Imagine it's a, a chicken or a lamb that we're making for our Christmas dinner. And look, now we've almost got it. Oh, look, and we're gonna cut that final bit with the scissors there. And now we have so far uh, two, two cleaning rags. This is one of the cleaning rags, which was previously, uh, I think the back of my shirt or my t-shirt. And this is the other cleaning rag, uh, which seems to be a little bit smaller. Now you can see it was still uh, my t-shirt because I can, I can put it on there in this kind of fashion. Uh, of course, I've only got one arm for this t-shirt because the other arm is, or the other arm hole rather, is still here in the other side of the t-shirt. So I'm gonna put that in like that, and there you are, you see. So if you've got beyond making a cleaning rag and you've decided that the thing to do in lockdown is to start designing and making your own clothes, I think you'll agree uh, this is something that Vivian Westwood could have come up with and sold on the King's Road for vast sums of money back in the day. So uh, making clothes will be uh, part two of uh, Julian's essential skills for cyclists. So now we have, we've manufactured two decent size uh, cleaning cloths. If you are a frugal person and you would rather have uh, four cleaning cloths, then you can cut it up. I'm using the scissors here. I'm not tearing it because I like the feel of cutting fabric with scissors. There we are, I've made something. And if you are uh, perhaps doing some delicate work on your bike, perhaps you're wearing a nice new t-shirt like I am, then if you put that over there, that protects your t-shirt and then you could use this bit of the cloth to clean or polish your bike. And because this was a, a kind of cycling t-shirt, uh, it has a pocket uh, at the back here. The pocket is still there, the button is still there. So if you were uh, doing some cleaning task and perhaps you had some uh, cleaning fluid, some, uh, I don't know, some polish or something that you wanted to apply uh, to your bike, then you could store your, uh, your can of polish in that convenient pocket there while you were polishing your bike. Uh, you take the polish out, you spray on the polish, you put it back in the pocket and continue the polishing action. So I think you'll agree um, this would be a very good 
uh, t-shirt to use for a cleaning cloth. I don't suggest you go and buy one of these t-shirts from Vulpine. They are about £60 because to cut that up and then use it as a cleaning cloth would be rather a waste of money in these particularly difficult times. I have had, you might wonder, well, why is he cutting up a £60 t-shirt? Well, I have had this t-shirt for about eight or nine years and as you know, I have worn it for approximately 300 days a year for the last eight years. So you do the math if you've got a Dacia and it's uh, eight times 300, which is uh, three, three, three eighths of 24, uh, add a couple of noughts. So that would be 2,400 million times that I have worn this particular t-shirt. So are we surprised uh, if it's a little bit thin now? Uh, you can't see me through that because of the way the camera works, but I can still see you and you could probably read a Bible through this fabric because it's so thin and fine. One of the reasons I've been wearing it so long is because it's really comfortable, it's really nice. So rag time there, uh, making a cleaning rag. You've had to do it without the jazz, although if you want to put on some jazz in the background or even, Nigel, a bit of ACDC or some Genesis or God forbid Black Sabbath while you're eating your bats, then then you can enjoy that and make your cleaning cloths at the same time. So essential skills for cyclists. Uh, if you like my videos, I normally put this in a kind of label at the bottom of the video, but I see most of my YouTubers that I follow, they actually say it. And although I get a bit fed up with them saying it, you as the audience obviously don't. So if you like my videos, uh, please subscribe, uh, please like, uh, please share, uh, please hit the notification bell because then if your life is so dull, uh, you will get an email or some kind of notification. Somebody will hit you over the head like that and say, guess what? Julian's uploaded another video. So if you've got nothing better to do for the next 15 minutes, why don't you go on and click on his channel? As I'm sure you all know, uh, if you watch my videos, it raises money for the Vine Food Bank, which is in Croydon, and I think you'll agree that's a very good cause. So thank you for helping me support that. Thank you for watching my videos. I'll try and make more to entertain you or annoy you as often as I can, as long as God gives me the will and the time and the space in my garage. So thanks for watching and see you next time.